Welcome back to a brand new overnight survival challenge. Today we are going to be simulating what it would be like if we got in a plane crash in the middle of the desert and had to survive overnight. Well, we've got to get packing because we got to catch a flight. Let's go. Let's do this. Got my suitcase here, a bunch of clothes, pillow, toiletries, some snacks, some water, the living water, it's brush. Vacation is just so much fun. You never know what you need. Uh, not yet. Hey, we gotta get going. We're gonna miss the flight. Just throw stuff in there, dude. We're running late. Hurry. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Today's video is sponsored by State of Survival. We'll tell you a little more about the game later, but we gotta make our way to the airport quick. Whoa. Bro. We just made it to the hangar. As you can see, you got the airplane behind us, and we are here with Sean, aka 70s man, aka 70s pilot. Where are we going? We are going Petropavlovsk, Russia. Uh, huh? Russia? <laughs> We're going on vacation. We're going somewhere fun. So we are going to pack up our suitcases, and we got to get flying because the weather. Yeah, times are clicking. They're clocking. Hurry. Time, what's the word? Is windy. Times are windy. Uh, we're about to get going, but I'm just going to go ahead and do a safety briefing first. Okay. <laughs> Shut up, basically. <laughs> so like we said, today's video is sponsored by State of Survival. State of Survival is a zombie-themed strategy mobile game available for free on both the App Store and Google Play. So some of the really cool features in this game are you get to customize and develop your very own settlement. You can recruit epic heroes and train troops to complete missions and fight enemies. You can experience this battlefield with AI or other players online with different game modes. So you got PvP and PvE. Unlike other strategy games, State of Survival has a tower defense element to the gameplay called Explorer Trail. In this mode, you get to explore unknown areas in the game while finding hidden secrets and encountering waves of zombies, making it much more fun. To celebrate the first anniversary of the game, the game developers have a global event where they are searching the world for an elite survivor squad. We made our own squad called Snacks Army, which you guys can join and help us out with this mission. Top three contributors of this global event will be receiving tons of rewards and will go into the Hall of Fame on State of Survival's official sites. If you're new to the game, use our creator code MORJSTEW SOS. If you do that, you will receive a starter pack, which includes a rare hero and 2,000 biocats. If you download State of Survival now using the link in the description, we are going to give 15 people $50 Amazon gift cards. So download right now. Go do it. Oh, you got to grab onto this needle, step on there, and make sure you just don't step on this part. All right, master on, fuel boost pump on. Clear prop. Can't wait for this vacation, boys. Vacation, vacation. How long till we get there, boss? Oh, it's gonna be a nice 14 hour flight. Where's the, the bathroom? Um, I have some sacks in the back of the seat there. Yeah, we could probably go back here in the trunk and just uh, saddle up if we need to go to the bathroom, right? Do that second. Three Star Warrior, three eight nine or eight nine or. Going over to the departure today. Bring the departure of Beechcraft Sierra November six zero zero eight six six thousand seven hundred. Contact altitude, your discretion. Altitude, my discretion zero six. I did bring my uh, aviation pillow. Uh -huh. Oh, lucky for cool naps. I'm going to take a nap as this is a long flight, you know? Well, you see, you, that'd be much easier if you had a headrest. <laughs> hey, Justin, did you bring any snacks? No snacks. Oh. I, for, I forgot to bring snacks. Sorry. Why didn't you bring snacks, though? I brought a lot of snacks in my bag, but I'm not getting them out. Don't want to scare you or anything. It looks like we've got a slight issue, but we're close to the airport, so it shouldn't be a, a big deal at all. Flying issue? What are you talking about? Oh uh, well, just just uh, just a minor inconvenience. Uh, issue in this? I'm sure 70s man has it figured out. It's just, yeah, I'm not concerned. Remain calm. And engine just feels like it's running a little bit rough. An engine? That's yeah. Cool. Seems like that's kind of important. Okay, guys. Well, uh, don't be alarmed, but we we do have an engine fire. So here we go. What? Oh my. What are you talking What's about? Going on? Oh my oh! God! Oh! What do you mean? Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. It's kind yeah. of fun! Yeah. Oh. 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 What do we do? What do we do? Hey, look, I'm on oh. my dad.
What happened? Andrew! Hyper! Oh my gosh. Guys, are you okay? Dude! No! Dude, the plane went down. Are you okay? What? Andrew! Are you okay? Here! I'm coming! Are you okay? Oh. No, no, stop, stop! Dude. What? Is everything okay? Are you injured? Well, I just don't know where we are. It looks like we're in the desert. We're 70s, man. Oh, yeah. Sean! Sean! Oh, oh Sam. Oh. Obviously, we have no idea where we are bearings wise. So, if we get to the high ground, so the top of this crescent, look around, maybe we'll see some bags, lost luggage, and we gotta find somewhere to stay. Hotel. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna find What a hotel, hotel is out here? Do bro? you know where we are? Gosh, Up right. the hill. Every movie you see with people in the desert is such Hollywood, guys. We can barely make it up this hill. side of us in theory it would be less windy we're going to that goalie right down there maybe we can ride our suitcases down the steep hill i'm gonna try on your mark get set ride this is not as cool as i thought it would be What really is wrong with you, man? I trip. We just made it to the bottom of this ravine. I don't even know what you want to call this. It's a little, still a little windy, but it's definitely not as bad as it was. Oh my, <laughs> Sandman. The grand finale. Wow. We're trapped out here. <laughs> Crap! Come on, buddy! Helicopter us in! Oh here my, comes more oh sand! My. Ow! We gotta get out of this goalie, dude! This is a sand tunnel! This is worse! The goalie was a bad idea! Bad idea! You're learning very quickly that if you're trapped in the desert, don't go in the gullies, because it's just like a sand, like, tornado. I was gonna share some snacks with you, but I keep getting hit with rocks! Out! Out! What if we just go like on the other side of the bank? Yeah, maybe the other side of the bank. Maybe we'll find some. There's a bank here. Something other than sand. Oh! Why, are your, why are your shoes off, dude? Because it feels so nice. In You're the sand. You are acting. Both of you are acting like we're on vacation. We just got in a crash. That's because we're supposed to be on vacation. But we're not. We're supposed to be surviving. How are we going to be surviving when you guys are lounging out in the sand? Let me tell you something. I was promised a vacation. I'm going to let you lead. Let's let Hyper lead and let's see where we get. I say we sit. <laughs> Alright, we're killing him. We've made an executive decision. We're making our way out of this valley because it's literally wind valley. We can't do anything. We can't relax. We can't talk. We can't enjoy. Ah, the sun is setting right now too. Look, we don't have much time. I feel like we just landed and it was like midday. And what happened to Sean? Uh-oh. Oh, forget it. We don't talk about Sean. Just forget it. Guys, look. Rolling hills. Down here, quick. <clears throat> 
think we finally found like kind of a calm spot out of the whipping wind. This is way better. You can make a home out of this. You know, you got shrubs, you got sun. You guys want to see my suitcase finally? Yeah. Yes. Finally. The moment we've all been waiting for. Here it is. It looks small, but it packs a punch. A makeshift pillow. So I got some snacks, of course. My little grab snacks for on the airplane, which are now coming in handy since we're trapped out here. I think God, I brought hydration. Glow sticks. Whoa. Something fun I like to bring on every vacation. I got my coffee. Love coffee on the go, so hopefully we can make that to work. Got the toiletry bag. I even got some playing cards for us, boys. Yes. Wow. And then, of course, I got my jammies, extra shirt, swim trunks, new J. Stu shirt coming soon on jstushop.com. Nice. Wow. That's a great thing to bring. Yeah. I'm not going to show you yet. Yeah. Right, but you got your swim trunks. Thought maybe we'd go swimming. Doesn't look like we're gonna do that. Sockies, undies, oh, some secret merch. We had the same idea. Yes, this is where it gets crazy, bro. One your Bible. I'm bougie, so I got some beachy water. Whoa, oh, Lord of God. What page are we gonna land on? <laughs> this is the best of every bit of Haribo. Some honey, tortillas. Wait, what are you making, soap of Who packs tortillas, bro, honey, and peanut No, butter? this is the best snack of my life. Trail mix plus honey plus tortillas. Okay, how bro. are you gonna eat honey without a spoon or anything? You just pour it on there. No, you're gonna have sticky fingers, dude. You obviously, I'll show you. I'll show you tonight. Oh my goodness. We're surviving in the desert. I know, but he's gonna have sand all over his fingers. With no, 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 no. You're no. gonna have sand everywhere. I didn't know we were gonna be in the sand. It's just been a really tough time. All right, the moment you guys have been waiting for, I brought a big bag because I was planning on checking this with the airline. First thing we got, we got Baby Yoda. Because if you're bringing in something on vacation, yes. you want to have like a stuffy. A jacket, I didn't know exactly how cold it was going to be at night, so I brought a nice big jacket. You can't have vacation without like toys and fun, so I brought this. Oh my God. This is going to be a lot. You brought a Nerf gun? Yes, okay. I got my toothbrush, I already showed you guys that. I got tons of snacks, we got bagels, nut bars, nuts, and some Rice Krispie treats. Yes. Now, one of the best things I always travel with is a uh, a flash boiler, a high boil system. Water boiler. You don't travel with one of these? No, I like I like coffee. With a propane tank. How did you? What? How did you get a propane tank in your suitcase? I always bring one. They let you on the plane with that? They don't know. <laughs> they let me on the plane with this. A whole Leatherman tool. What? Are we gonna be able to use this for anything? It doesn't look like it, because it's just a pliers, screwdriver, and a really tiny knife. I'm thinking about it. Oh my god! What in the world? You never know when you're gonna need a machete. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. What if I just came out of the sand like that? Hey guys, I'm in the desert. <laughs> So like we can make our area pretty, and dude, it's crazy convenient. You brought the flash boiler, and I brought coffee. Maybe we could team up and make coffee. I'm willing to negotiate. Okay. You have food snacks? Yeah. Okay. Should I go look over that hill? Yes. Look at me and Hyper are gonna stay here and eat. Yeah, but I'm bringing Yoda. Why? Well, I need someone to go with. What if the scorpions come out? Gosh. Well, nice knowing you, buddy. <laughs> you see anything? Oh, there's a mountain range and there's trees. You're telling me right over the edge there's trees and we've been sitting in the desert. It's not like right over the edge. I can just see it. Wait. That's a good thing. Well, yes. We need nice. to go, dude. It's still daylight. If we're walking in the dark, who knows what's out there? Unless you, want to set up, unless you want to set up camp in the desert. Well, let's weigh our options. Now let's go. <laughs> I'd say we literally have like an hour before we get start pitching dark. Does that make sense? What? We're almost there, Hyper. Guys, you have no idea how hard it is to carry a suitcase in the sand. Every step he takes, it digs into the dirt. <laughs> Do you see it? Tell us what it looks like. I can't wait. I see like little tops of mountains. First. Are there trees? I can't see them. Uh, ah. <laughs> Shut up. You look like a slug, dude. <laughs> okay, boomer. Shush. <laughs> yeah. oh. All right. As you can see, 
We have journeyed through the vast desert, this wasteland, but now we have a new task. The mountains. Not you. <laughs> the mountains and the forest. We have to get there by nightfall if you want to have any shot of survival. All right, we better go. Man, it's getting cold and it's about to get dark. Hope there's not zombies around here. Zombies? Like, yeah. like state of survival? We have got to get to the woods. Otherwise, it's gonna be a very bad night. We finally found the sand schnitzels. Yes. No, it's not good, dude. They're right there. Jinkies. Schnitzel, are you in there? I don't know if we want to bother Schnitzel. The Gregorian snakes are also very deadly out here. So we shouldn't put like our suitcases here and no. set up camp on that hole? No, not at all. Oh. We'll be eaten by dawn. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Finally made it out of the sand. Back there is just the wall of sand. You probably can't see it, but we made it to some trees. So this will be way better than out in the desert. You think the desert would be hot, but now it's getting very cold. So we got to find somewhere to sleep, I think. No way, boys. What? The insulation in the airplane fell out. We could use this as a blanket. Whoa! No way! Thanks, God! We are totally gonna survive out here, no problem. Guys, we literally just found, I think, where we're gonna sleep tonight. We found an area specifically surrounded by trees, as you can see, all right in here. And we are still in the desert. Look at this sand. Wow. So that means comfy ground to sleep on for mattresses. Okay, so currently we're making our own flooring. We each kind of had some pretty cool ideas. So like I'm going to do, I, I brought my hammock, which was just to hang out in. Obviously there's not really trees that I want to hang them up, but I thought that'd be a good floor. For my bed, I actually packed a trash bag. When you go on vacation, you sometimes pack a trash bag to put all your clothes in, your dirty clothes. So now that's going to serve as a bed. In my secret hatch, I got my jacket. Yes. That's gonna come in handy. Boom. Boom, baby. Yes. First things first, I do have a blanket that I did bring, so that's gonna be good. But also, since we're not going on vacation anymore, I do have all my t-shirts. I can cut them up, combine them into a mega shirt with duct tape. That can be my floor. A mega shirt's the floor? Yeah. I'll show you, okay? Okay. But first thing, I'm gonna put my hoodie on because it's getting nippy out. Are you guys like pretty excited for this? Yeah, I'm not too cold right now because the trees are kind of blocking all the wind. Literally, I can take my shoes off on my bed. Whoa! Dude, that's what I'm doing for mine. No way. I put hey. my shoes right here. Hey. This is working a lot better than I thought. Like, the sand's not coming through. I thought it would. Oh, dude, that's like a, feels like a water bed. Yeah, yeah we oh, can yeah. combine. I can put my bed there to yes, make yes. super bed. We gotta get all these mega bed. Right now, there is actual threats of animals and things out here. So, but if they see me with this, they will sprint away fast. Marv! It's okay, Marv is being put to a better use. I just gotta combine all these shirts together with my duct tape. You got duct tape? Yeah. Don't you always bring duct tape? Guys, check it out. Honey lamp. What? Yes, sir, Bob. Dude, that looks so cool. It's way better than I anticipated. This I'm thing cuts through like butter. Very surprised. I'm currently testing out my bed situation. Got the pillow here, got the jammies on. Feeling pretty warm. I think this is gonna be a cozy night's sleep. Plus, we can see all the stars in the sky. Hyper is right now gonna be making trail mix tortilla honey tortillas. Yes, with peanut butter. <laughs> peanut butter, we got trail mix. And yes, sirry Bob, we got honey. <laughs> all right, everybody, I got my t-shirt bed made. Not bad for a makeshift uh, bed. Not bad yeah. at all. Cause we're survivors. Baby Yoda, he's gonna be my fellow. Hyper's letting me borrow his honey beer. Right. And I have bagels though, cause no, everybody loves bagels. Also look at our cool uh, lanterns. We just put our, our phone lights on the water bottle. So I didn't really bring any meals. I just got a bunch of munchy snacks. So we got the, as you saw, these little barbecue chips. That's some protein bars. Huh? I dropped my flashlight. Your apple raspberry bars and some sour bunny fruit snacks. Main component for in the morning, we got coffee. I'm just saying, so I'm about to get some <laughs> snacks. <laughs> oh oh my gosh! Mouse! He's coming. <laughs> I you, told you I saw you a mouse. See it? Dude, I think I saw it on camera. What the heck? He's sneaking up on our campsite trying to eat our food. That little rat? Literally. Got him! <gasps> get out of here! I'm gonna see him. If he gets too close, he's gonna meet my friend. His Make friend's name is Machete. I wonder if they're behind us too. You're surrounding us on all sides. By the way, guys, we hope you are enjoying this new overnight simulation survival series. We have a bunch more episodes planned, and uh, this is as real as it gets, so. <gasps> oh, he's right by my suitcase. He oh, he Whoa! Right 
He just jumped back in the woods. Dude, he, I literally heard him jump on your back. Oh, there's rats in the trees too. How many members are in his family? I'm about to go like Tarzan in the woods. I'm about to go postal on him. Oh my gosh, there's another one back here. What? We're being surrounded, dude. <laughs> I do not like this. Look, they're just friendly little oh ratatouilles. You ever seen ratatouille? Ratatouille. He literally just wants to make soup for his friends. Don't you care? No, I don't All care. Right. So we're heading out into the woods to explore around at night. I'm glad you uh, brought the machete. Yeah, that's key. Because if we come across any villains, we can hurt each other. Especially with this cool armor on top of it. Yeah, because you usually want to use it with armor because that makes it more deadly when you whack somebody. Ow. Look at my guy's pants. Dude, red and blue, USA. Ooh, water. Well, you see any like trail marks? Look right here. Is that a boot or is that a hoof? Bear track. If I see any eyeballs, that'll be a giveaway that there's someone here. Why are we out in the woods looking for eyeballs? Because we have to investigate our area. I don't like this game. Now, how many mice are going to be at our house when we get back? How do you guys see in the dark is also what I want to know. Oh! There's Who a mouse that? over here for sure. I heard it. Somewhere. Well. It's uh, getting pretty late. I don't know what other activities we can do in the dark. So we're probably going to get ready for bed because we are getting tired. And then in the morning, we are going to go. <laughs> oh, my hope. I hope we can survive because if not, we're going to die. <laughs> what? A speeder. Oh, my. Well, it's in my pillow. Oh my gosh. Why are there spiders out here? Because we're in the woods. This is how you survive. Bro, we have to kill him. We have to assassinate him immediately. Bro, where there's babies, there's mommy and daddy. I smell your farts. Listen right. to this. Jeez. I was going to take my shoes off, but maybe the spiders were going to make homes out of it. Check this out, fellas. All right, taco boy. Are you comfy? Uh, yeah. It looks pretty comfy. This pillow is... Definitely come. So I'm probably gonna wrap myself like a burrito, though, like completely cover myself. Oh, I'm gonna to have avoid to do that. cold and rats. So we are gonna try and go to sleep now. If there are no rodents or false alarms or real alarms in the middle of the night, we'll see you in the morning in the next scene. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so cold. Guys, what time is it? Good Atlanta. <laughs> so cold. There's no way we can survive out here. <laughs> It doesn't look cold, but our blankets are wet from like dew. Oh. Since this is a simulation, our suitcases were not enough. They would not have saved us because we didn't pack any survival gear. We tried to we tried to pack some, anticipating maybe an emergency, but there was this is help. <laughs> so we are calling it. And we're gonna go to the car, away from all the Jimothys out here. Right, let's go to the car and we'll tell you what's next. Well, we're back in the car now. We wanted to make this new series as legit as possible. And like we already mentioned, being outside would have been near impossible because of how cold it was. Not to mention we just got out of a blown up plane. Yeah, that as well. And technically I do have a first aid kit. Technically? Yeah, I bought one. What? Somebody out here in the dunes did warn us about like actual bears and bear attacks. Oh, so yeah. that kind of gave us the heebie-jeebies. Should we be laying out here in the woods? They were like, don't leave your food out. Whatever you do, and don't put it in the car. Whatever you do. We made it back to the property alive. And we're getting to use this device Andrew bought. Whoa, dude, this is like a steam bath. If you go like this. Try Whoa. it, try it. Dude, do it. Steam Man, bath. that feels great, dude. Yeah. Yeah, bud. That's that mud. <laughs> oh, I didn't get much for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Next time we do another survival challenge, we will come super prepared. We're not checking it out of the next one. Or will we? Because we won't know. No, we're not. We're not. If you guys love this new series, blast the like button. And we got to have a special thank you to our sponsor, which is State of Survival. You're amazing. You got to go check them out and play that game. But other than that, click up here to watch uh, a different video if you want. Or down there, that video might be good as well because YouTube thinks you might want it. And hit that join button, become a member, and laugh daily. And drink we did coffee. it, guys. Man, must have coffee. Thanks, Me. Rick.